Mornings are my favorite because it's just me, the cats, and silence. Good morning, guys. It is 7.30 a.m. I'm about to sit down and journal. I've got my coffee, I've got my cat, got my window open because the weather is really nice out. What more could you ask for? We are rushing because I just realized a call that I thought I had at 11 a.m. is actually at 10 a.m. and I really want, I'm hungry, and I want to make my shake real quick. So, getting that all prepared, my famous oat milk, my favorite. Uh, oh my goodness. Okay, so I literally thought this call, oh my god, peanut butter. I literally thought this call was at 11 a.m. I was very wrong. <laughs> so, it is now, why am I telling you this? I'm taking up time. 9.57 peanut butter of course I get the uh, this is just the 365 from Whole Foods peanut butter I'm doing two tablespoons today and I love this it has only two grams of sugar so it's not the sweet kind but that's okay it adds the good peanutty flavor two scoops of my Ollie chocolate protein powder of course one, two, oops. It comes with this nice little thing where you can keep the cap on the top so it doesn't fall in, but I always forget and I throw it in and then I end up with the powder all over my hands anyways. Love that for me. Okay. I added in my banana already and some ice cubes. So we are good to go to blend up. all blended and we have a shake with one minute to go <laughs> love that for us all right here we go back to the office added my cacao nibs of course and we have to hustle to get onto this zoom call Meeting is over, went well, my hair <laughs> looked crazy. I turned my Zoom on and I was like, oh good. I'm glad it looks like I didn't brush my hair because I probably didn't. Um, that's okay though. <laughs> I like quickly turned my camera off, fixed my hair. I think it looks a little bit better now. Um, but, time for lunch. So we decided to come to Bolay for lunch. I ended up getting half chicken, half tofu, and lots of Brussels sprouts and kale as well. All right, Bean Bean, you ready for lunch, my big boy? Come on, let's get lunch. Follow me to your table. It is right over here, sir. And there you go. So Ricky doesn't actually eat lunch. He's just chilling out here on the couch. He only eats breakfast and dinner because he's a skinny legend. Uh, no, he just prefers to only eat twice a day. So that's what he does. He has a very sensitive tummy. So we do whatever works for him. Do I look as mentally worn out as I feel? Because it is five o'clock and your girl is ready to be done. Hello, Ricky. <laughs> so I'm going to put my hair up and find my shoes because Adam and I are gonna go out for a walk. The weather is so nice. It's like 65 degrees. So, I can't go out in my slippers though. I'll the live long day. I'll the live long day. I'll be moving along, singing my song. Running around, ain't nothing wrong. Ah, 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 the live long. Hey guys, back from my walk, and Adam and I have decided that we're going to start a podcast. I don't know if anyone's going to listen to our podcast, probably not, and that's totally fine. It's really just like a quarantine hobby for us, and if you're like, girl, you went out to eat lunch today, we sat outside, we went to Belay, which has like um, tables outside that are socially distant, and also hardly anyone ever sits outside when we're there so it's pretty 
is pretty safe. It's definitely us taking a risk because normally we literally go nowhere. Um, and we have eaten out probably like five times in total and never at like an actual indoor restaurant, that's for sure. Uh, but we are feeling like a little fr frisky today. Um, you know, the holidays are out of the way, like pre-holidays, we were super careful because we knew we were gonna be seeing our parents a lot and that sort of thing. Uh, but now, I don't know, I guess we're taking bigger risks, but I don't, that feels like a small risk to me still. Anyways, you guys know the whole situation. So we still consider ourselves pretty much in quarantine. Like we typically don't leave the house except to go grocery shopping and to go uh, when we go volunteer on Saturdays, which is super COVID safe because we are the only ones there. It's just like me and Adam and the cats and whatever. So. We're constantly looking for new things to do. I know the vaccine is coming out soon. My mom, I think, is supposed to be able to get it on January 10th. So my fingers are crossed for her that that's gonna happen because I've been really worried about her. She has a really compromised immune system and um, her partner also has underlying health conditions. So I'll feel so much better once the two of them get their vaccine. But I think it's still gonna be a while before Adam and I are able to get it. And we're in no rush because quite frankly, like we're homebodies anyways, <laughs> you know, even before all of this, we kind of stuck to ourselves. We work from home. There's really very little reason for us to try to like jump the line in any kind of way. So uh, we're expecting a few more months of this for sure. Uh, and having this podcast will be a nice little hobby for us. So can't decide exactly what we're gonna do it on, but I think, so there's a couple shows that are getting rebooted, TV shows that are getting rebooted that I really liked. So Gossip Girl is getting rebooted on HBO Max and also True Blood. Two shows with lots of episodes that I think there's layers there to dive into. And I don't mean like we're gonna watch an episode and recap. I think there are just like layers to unpack in those shows. And so I think we might podcast about one of those two things. So if you watch True Blood or if you watch Gossip Girl, let me know so I know which show we wanna dive into. We're like leaning towards True Blood because I think um, that has a wider like audience base and also I think more to talk about. Also, I can't imagine subjecting Adam to, and making him watch Gossip Girl, quite frankly. So that would be only if it was like a solo podcast. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about that. I have, you've probably seen, I have like a Yeti microphone, podcasting microphone that I bought, I want to say like probably two months ago now that's been sitting on my dining room table, table because podcasting has always been a quarantine hobby that I've had in my mind. And it's just a matter of like figuring out the topic, trying to rope someone in to be a co-host with me, and then actually getting it done. So I'm super excited about that. I have not podcast in years. So back in 2009, when I was in my, early in my career, one of the companies I worked for, we started a podcast and it only lasted, I think, for one season because nobody back then listened to podcasts. <laughs> it's like crazy to me now that podcasting is so popular because literally when we launched that podcast in 2009, people didn't listen to podcasts. I actually thought podcasts were dead. And when I saw that some of my favorite YouTubers were starting podcasts a couple years ago, I was like, they're crazy. Nobody listens to podcasts. But in fact, I was wrong. Also, if you're like, what's going on here? We added a new fake plant to the family. Um, anyways, I just wanted to tell you about that and get your feedback. Let me know, or maybe there's a different show. Uh, we did kind of talk about if instead of like watching a show that's getting rebooted, if we might go back and watch a show that's been super popular that we never watched. So we never watched The Sopranos. We also never watched What's the Jason Momoa show? Game of Thrones. But neither one of us are like super interested in watching either of those shows either. So I tried Game of Thrones. That's a tangent for another day. I made a four episodes in and then one of the wolves was about to get killed, one of the wolf cubs. And when it comes to animal 
tragedy, should we say, um, I don't handle it. So when that came up, I was like, done. Anyways, speaking of animal <laughs> tragedies, I need to go see what's going on with my boys because I hear some fighting. So if you want to know who the troublemaker is, it's going to be that little one. <laughs> Ricky, why do you do this? Leave your big brother alone. Hey! Leave your big brother alone. Bean Bean puts up with a lot. He really does. Having a little brother is probably not his favorite thing, but he's a good big brother and he deals with it in stride. That's my Bean Bean. He's such a good boy. This is not my angle, <laughs> but I think I am going to uh, sign off now. So thank you guys for hanging out with me today. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. And I will talk to you again very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.